Welcome back to the American Rancher. We're talking about horses today and the consignments for November 5th are stacking up nicely. Bill Muncaster grew up in England and came to America as a young man. A love for horses has been a part of his life since his childhood and has grown ever since. Bill is an accomplished horseman and trainer who learned a great deal from the noted natural horseman, Ray Hunt. Born and raised in England, Bill Muncaster came to America in the early 1980s and made his home in Dallas, Texas. From his childhood, he has always loved horses. Bill's love for horses eventually led him to cross paths with the legendary natural horseman, Ray Hunt. My wife, over 14 years ago, for my birthday, bought me a uh, cold starting tape of Ray Hunt's. And I watched this and I found it very interesting. So Susan fixed it up for me to go to a clinic. And I arrived there pretty early, got my horses put up. And here's this guy riding in the indoor arena. And I'd never seen anything like it. I wasn't sure what I was seeing. And I didn't understand it. But I knew I wanted it. And that was my association. That's when I first started with Ray. And I started to see what was out there and what could, what, what could be achieved if you went about it the correct way. Over time, they became good friends. And Bill became a good student of the training techniques and philosophy that Ray Hunt proclaimed. The more I tried to force what I thought I was seeing onto my horse, the worse it became. Because I was not accepting of what the horse's needs were. And then finally, I started to enjoy those small changes and those slight tries and recognizing them. And that's the big deal. If you can recognize them like Ray and Tom Dorrance were able to do, oh, it's unbelievable what you can get done in such a short space of time. You say you take care of his needs, he will take care of yours. You couldn't repeat Ray, but Bill has learned a lot. And I, that's why I had read Ray Hunt's book, which I love telling Bill, before he was interested. But I couldn't get him interested until he saw an article on Ray and Western Horsemen. And then I pushed it because I felt like that's where he needed to go. Bill and Susan Muncaster established the Diamond M Ranch in 1992. The ranch is located 70 miles northwest of Dallas-Fort Worth in the North Texas countryside between Decatur and Gainesville. Cornerstone to the ranch is the growing equine breeding and training program. Diamond M Ranch raised horses are bred to have cow sense, gentleness, and good looks. A training program and our breeding program are very, very heavily influenced by Ray. Broke to me means that you can move all four corners without resistance. You can bring him into a collection and bring him his body rounded without any resistance. And that takes more than just having a horse riding across a pasture. And that's what we do here at the ranch. We spend our time. Our breeding program is really designed uh, for versatility ranch horse, which is a really up and coming sport. The ranch has 16 broodmares and stands the Gray Salyon Straight Silver Badge. Over the years, as business has increased, they've now started showing and reigning cow horse competitions. This has helped establish the breeding program along with the positive references from previous clients. The Diamond M Ranch also successfully runs an Angus cow-calf operation, maintaining a breeding herd. Bill's relationship with Ray Hunt was lasting, and today, Bill imparts these same principles and training methods to the horses that he breeds and raises. What I like to do when I start a horse is just try to get, feel the face a little, try to draw them underneath, so the pushing through the bit, as soon as I feel it, I like to release, release slowly. 
A lot of guys like to just throw the reins away once they've got it, but what I find is if you do that, the head pops up. If you release slowly, you give them the reward, and most of the time the head goes down. It's also important to move your legs so that the horse is riding through the bit. And I like to just walk them, take them a little off balance, kind of move them over, get a step or two, move them over, kind of get a step or two, and move them over. A horse to me, he's not broke until I can move the front both ways, bend the hip over, wrap them around my leg, both ways. People say, oh, I just want a trail horse. Boy, you know, a trail horse has to be pretty special individual, a good trail horse. That horse has got to take care of him. And, you know, I just think it's wonderful. He's as good as any world champion, but you couldn't put him in the show pen. But I want to tell you, some of those show horses, they, you couldn't go on a trail ride with either. Bill and Susan have some excellent young horses that will be offered in the upcoming Superior Fall Family Horse Auction on November 5th. DMR Full Star Badge is a 2009 Buckskin AQHA mare. Affectionately known as Luna, this girl is an absolute talent. She has started under saddle and going well using the Ray Hunt method. She's a great mover and has a gentle and kind disposition. She is bred to do any type of cow work. DMR Straight Bar is a 2009 Buckskin AQHA gilding. Smokey is a super kind and gentle gilding. He is going well under saddle and shows tons of potential. This good looking horse rides a lot like his sire Straight Silver Badge who passes on kind minds and athletic ability. With his size and breeding, roping should definitely be in his career. DMR CCC's a cat is a 2009 Sorrel APHA solid gilding. Known as Sparky, this gilding is a looker. He is well started under saddle and showing great potential for any event. His sire, Sophisticated Cat, is a well-respected sire in the cutting horse industry. Sparky's dam was one of the best all-around ranch horses on the Diamond M. I think my horses will appeal to a lot of people. They'll be well on the way for anyone to take them and start doing the discipline that they enjoy doing. Bill will be offering some excellent horses in the November 5th offering. And you can find out more about the Superior Fall Family Horse Auction by visiting superiorlive.com. When we return, we'll visit with Susan Muncaster, as well as see some of the horses consigned for the November 5th auction, like these here. This is the American Rancher. Don't go away. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Looking ahead to November 5th, Superior has got some great American ranch horses, including an outstanding offering of team roping and tie down calf horses. We'll be taking a look at more of them a little later. Now we visit Susan Muncaster and take a look at some plum sassy cowgirls. 30 years of illustration, working for businesses, children's books, advertising illustration. I pretty much did it all and now all I want to do is go up in my studio and paint cowgirls. That's all I want to do. And animals. Lots and lots of horses and dogs. My line has been called Plum Sassy Cowgirls. Um, it's been around for a while. I'm painting looser and just having fun and I have a gallery in Phoenix that I send all my stuff to and I'm just going more in the fine arts world and less in the deadline world. Susan Edison Muncaster has been an illustrator for more than 30 years. One of her first jobs was as art director of WKRC-TV News in Cincinnati, where her court sketches appeared repeatedly on ABC network shows like ABC World News Tonight, 2020, and Good Morning America. Several years ago, Susan created her own line of cowgirls in Western art. 
painting in acrylic glazes, she moves bold color with energy and a stylized realism. Plum Sassy Cowgirls, a tribute to the spirited and tough cowgirl, have been displayed in the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame and the Montana Historical Society magazine cover. I work from my photograph, which is here, then I transfer it to black and white here, there so I can just see a value study. Then I do a sketch of what I want to do in the layout, which is a value study again. Then I enlarge it and in the Xerox machine, believe it or not, then I transfer it with carbon to here. And I, do, I hardly look at the photograph again, to tell you the truth. I look at my sketch, because that's the direction I want it to go. Susan's cowgirls have graced the cover of Cowboys and Indians. She is the exclusive fashion illustrator for famed Western designer Patricia Wolf. I love just painting dogs and horses. I love it. Bill and Susan have a great life out in the Texas ranch country near Decatur. They love the horses, cattle, and dogs that are part of the land and lifestyle that they engage every day.